Welcome to the Mammoth Lakes area, uh, Dead Man Road, actually, up here on the trail. Um, not sure exactly where I'm at. Well, actually, I do know where I'm at. Uh, it's on a forest road, uh, Dead Man Creek Road. And we're near the uh, Obsidian Domes. Let me give you a quick look. That's an Obsidian Dome over there. And... Uh, yeah, we're probably about uh, five miles from the uh, 395. So, um, yeah, I wanted to give you a quick update on what I think of this Polaris uh, XP Turbo. Uh, I've done a few things to it since you've seen it last, and let's show you. Okay, on the back, not really much has changed. Got my little iron cross reflector. I went with a rigid 22-inch uh, toolbox here. Um, got my spare belt. Few other tools odds and ends in there tire repair kits uh got a polycarbonate rear window that kind of straps on there with this velcro uh one thing i gotta say about these they're a great bang for the buck you notice how they vibrate so what i'm going to end up doing when i get back is i'm going to put some uh double-sided uh tape or something maybe foam window seal all around the edge kind of dead in that sound okay um then i also got the uh the mirrors here you guys will recognize them um these are pretty common they're plastic but uh uh honestly hey right now i don't know the brand but they are name brand and i have the um can am uh x3 rear uh mirror with the blind spot stop uh, blind spot stuff pretty cool um also Got these Velcro on, uh, classic uh, quad gear handholds. They come in handy, guys. Um, you know, get in and out, or just anytime you want to grab them, a hold. Uh, works pretty cool. Um, of course, got my other YouTube channel sticker. Got to do a shout out for them. Um, really cheap uh, rock sliders here. I'm not gonna name the brand. You might recognize them. I think they suck. Uh, they don't go through the um, frame tube. They got kind of an anchor bolt in there, and uh, they require a little bit of grinding. Um, but for the price, can't beat it. Just don't step on them. Uh, I guess they're good for the uh, lateral uh, bumps, but uh, you know I really don't do that kind of riding yet. Um, and then the auto armor um, front dot glass windscreen. So far, guys, awesome window. Couldn't be more happy. Just make sure you put some Loctite blue on all your bolts uh one fell out here and i just put it in a quarter 20 um i haven't cut it down but uh anyway um and it comes with this manual wind wiper windshield wiper uh it comes loose and kind of falls down i reach up and have to put it up in its park position honestly it's useless for the kind of riding i do so i'm probably going to take take it off um ebay cheapo uh, light bar um single row but let me tell you that that thing puts out a lot of light um so no complaints there um works really well and then i got the aluminum uh roof and my wife uh deborah made or uh, bought that decal that goes on the top uh, i think it's pretty cool um so together i think it's a really good combination um i used a, a grommet there to pass it through and then on the inside, I have some quick disconnects uh, whenever I have to take that uh, roof off or anything. Um, inside, haven't done much other than adding a couple of uh, uh, rock light switch, light bar switch. Uh, that's about it. Um, I got rock lights under here. Um, see where I mounted one right there. Um, the other one on the back is up under there. Um, also have one uh, behind the grill. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can get a good shot of it, but uh, there it is, right there. Now, Razor has this little electronic uh, device next to it, so it's not quite centered, but it looks pretty good at night, nonetheless. Um, that's about it. Um, haven't really done much more. Uh, well, other <laughs> fire extinguisher, gotta have one of them. Um, um, but that's about it. Um, one thing I gotta say. Um, even for these kind of pretty well maintained gravel roads um the t 
tender springs absolutely suck. I'm um, gonna be picking. I'm gonna be picking up a set, probably from Shock Therapy, uh, in the coming weeks. Um, but for the high speed bumps, it just doesn't do anything, and uh, it's garbage. Uh, it really jars your teeth, and uh, I can't wait to get rid of them. Uh, but that's gonna be the next thing I do um, as far as uh, major things here. So I haven't done the first maintenance on it as far as uh, I'll be washing this when I get home, and I'm gonna be taking off the drive belt cover to inspect and i'll show you guys in the next video how to how i do that I've never done it before and then of course the air filter back behind that toolbox there um i'll be doing that for the first time as well and i'll be uh, showing you a quick video how to do that all right guys so that's basically what i've done to this 2021 turbo so far um i really enjoy it that thing hauls ass can't be happier um and uh, by the way one last thing I can't show you, it's the uh, RPM Power Sports blow-off valve. It's it's nice, but I think I'm getting some whistling and some leak uh, on that thing, on that mechanism. Not sure why. It's not the tube. It's definitely the blow-off valve. So I'm probably going to send it back to them. Um, hopefully they can send me back one that passes that little inspection where you put your thumb on that vacuum uh, hole. And, uh, and uh, if not, you know what? Uh, I'll count my losses and buy a, another one. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to take a quick leak there, get back on the trail, and we'll see you soon. All right, guys, I'm going to try to uh, replicate that noise from this uh, RPM Power Sports uh, blow off valve where it's uh, getting the whiny noise.